Hi, in this video we are checking about Azure Active Directory Pass-Through Authentication versus Password Hashing. What are the similarities between Pass-Through Authentication and Password Hashing? What are the difference between Pass-Through Authentication and Password Hashing? So that's what we are going to check it in this video. Let us check it out one by one. Similar to password has synchronization, Azure AD pass-through authentication allow user to sign into on-prem app as well as cloud app based using the same password. This is one similarity. Both in password has synchronization and Azure pass-through authentication in both. Even in password has synchronization and password authentication, both allow to sign in with the same password in on-premise app and cloud-based apps. With the same password, you can log into on-premise app and cloud-based apps. So what is the difference? This is a similarity. Both in password hash synchronization and Azure uh, AD password authentication allows the user to sign into on-prem application as well as cloud-based application. So this is a similarity. So we are going to check what is the difference. So difference, we will check it one by one. Again, it's speak about the similarity. User use the same password to sign into both on-premise and cloud-based application. This is similar for even for the password hash synchronization. Both we use the same password only or even in the on-premise and in the cloud. So second, this is the difference. On-premise password are never stored in the cloud in any form. For the pass-through authentication, on-premise password, that means active directory passwords are never stored in the cloud in any form. Even in the uh, encrypted form or in any form, password is not stored in the cloud. Password is stored only in the on-premise, between, between in your premises, not in the cloud. So that is the main difference between password authentication and password hash synchronization. Here, password never stored in the cloud in any form. And if organization want to uh, more security, and they want to enforce certain for example, if it is banking or uh, if it is highly secured as some organization, then they want to uh, want their password in their on-premise itself. They, the password should never sync to, uh, never get saved in the cloud. It can sync but should never saved in the cloud platform. In such organization, we should recommend pass-through authentication. Now we'll see what is password hash synchronization. See, as you said, it uses the same password for in the on-premise and in the uh, cloud, but the Active Directory domain services stores the password in the form of hash value, in the form of hash value representation in the cloud. In the cloud, password is not saved as a, a same as uh, what is saved in the on-premise. It, it is saved in the form of hash value. To synchronize your password, Azure AD cannot sync extract your password hash from the on-premise Active Directory instance. Uh, it extracts your password hash from the on-premise. It, it is some encryption method it uses to uh, synchronize your password and to use that password. Okay, password is not saved as it is. It is saved in the form of hash value. It is some, some kind of encryption method it uses and it's saved in the cloud. But, uh, and it is, and it is, uh, synced in every two minutes. The password hash synchronization agent AD Clown requests stored password hashes from the DC. From the domain controller, every two minutes, the password hash synchronization agent will be running and it is saving in the cloud. So, this is the main difference between pass through authentication and password hash synchronization. So, if your organization, a company that wants simple implementation with fewer moving parts, with fewer servers you want to implement, then you can use hash sync method. Even in Azure AZ-500, it's a question. With a few servers, uh, I want to implement uh, uh, synchronization, uh, Azure AD synchronization. So which method should I select? So you should select password hash synchronization. So it required only simple implementation. But however, highly secure organization that wish to keep all authentication on-premise, there should not be any authentication in the cloud. In such scenario, you should use either federation service or pass-through authentication. So this is the difference between pass-through authentication and password hash. And uh, so I have given an overview only. If you want to know more about it, uh, you can just search in the Google saying simply search it out pass-through authentication. So you will get this link. 
here there is a video from the microsoft itself where they have explained in much more detail uh, how this is synchronized even if you go to uh, this page how hash is synchronization work uh, in detail how that uh, encryption is happening all those details if you want to know depth you can check it out uh, this particular um, um, uh, document from microsoft and you can have more idea about it so this is an overview and, uh, and difference between password authentication and password hash synchronization we will meet you in another video bye